Now, throughout the years, there have been many classic award-winning movies set in newsrooms, specifically at newspapers, and this year is no different. However, there's one movie out there about an intrepid group of reporters that really stands out from the pack, and I think it could definitely be a contender at this year's Oscars. Let's take a look. This winter, from the people who brought you all the president's men, The Post, Spotlight, and the fifth season of The Wire, comes a movie about a brave team of journalists risking it all to break the biggest news story in history. I think this goes straight to the top. Newspaper movie. Featuring men in bad ties and short-sleeved colored shirts, gross styrofoam coffee cups, and a tense scene where two people sit on a park bench staring straight ahead, trying not to seem suspicious while they exchange a manila folder, even though that's literally the most suspicious way to do it. Hey, what the hell are you two cooking up? Is it in the folder? What's in that folder? Come back here. Hey, you, what's in that briefcase? Yeah, you're not off the hook. Tell us what's in the briefcase. Is it more folders? Featuring an early morning shot of a stack of newspapers wrapped in twine being tossed out the back of a delivery truck. The copy editor, who thinks that because this story could bring down the president, it's important to get the grammar right. Um, it's actually whom? And taking place in a world where everyone in the country seems to read this specific newspaper. The Los Angeles Times says, newspaper movie is a nonstop thrill ride. If your idea of a thrill ride is seeing middle-aged white people typing for two hours. The Hollywood Reporter says, newspaper movie is a tour de force of people talking about sources, anonymous sources, and the importance of protecting sources. In fact, the word sources is said over 6,500 times in this movie. Variety says, newspaper movie lays on all that journalistic integrity stuff pretty thick. We have a constitutional right to publish this story. We are the fourth estate, and we will hold the powerful accountable. Wait, what's the fourth estate? Us, the press. And everyone knows that? Because I feel like people always say the fourth estate, but they don't actually know what it means. Well, I think everybody knows what it means. I thought the fourth estate was time. That's the fourth dimension. I thought the fourth estate was Georgia. No, not state, a state. Oh. You thought I was saying we're the state of Georgia? Yes. And the Washington Post says, our entire newsroom went totally ape for this movie. Featuring a lot of stuff with phones, like a lot. Like that thing where a guy puts the phone in the crook of his neck yeah, so that he has both hands free uh -huh. to type. And then him. he snaps his fingers three times sure. to signal to Address. his colleagues that this is the call they've been okay. waiting for. for and sure. then, because he needs to rush right. out and meet his source, he stuffs a bagel into his oh, mouth, puts on his jacket, confirms the meeting time yeah, all while still on the that. phone, and it's just right. way too many things. To it. Also, so much smoking. Featuring imposing shots of iconic Washington, D.C. buildings to convey the power of long-standing institutions, and one aerial shot of people rowing down the Potomac River at dawn, because why the hell not? This thing, muffled arguing behind glass doors, and a lobbyist gorging himself on soft-shell crab while explaining that this is how Washington works. This is how Washington works, pal. Help yourself. And don't forget the obligatory scene where the workaholic main character returns to his sparsely furnished apartment to convey his personal life is empty. He opens the refrigerator, and there's nothing there but a leftover Chinese container with several loose noodles and a carton of milk, which he takes from the refrigerator, smells, and then winces because the milk is spoiled. And then, because he's a grizzled reporter, he drinks the milk anyway, which grosses the audience out as if this isn't a movie and they'd actually make an actor drink spoiled milk. And you can bet your sweet ass there's a scene with a very long, pregnant pause while everyone waits for the editor to say, run it.
run. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Newspaper movie based on a true story where if you Wikipedia the real people, they look nothing like the actors in the film. <laughs>